My name is Anthony of Anthony Presents. Uh, my official title, man, that's like, I have like 10 of those. I'm a entrepreneur at first, event planner by trade, founder of Social Fit Club, District 6, and yeah, that's me, Sundays. Anthony Slander has built a reputation of throwing the most sought after parties in the Bay Area for over the last 15 years. But when the pandemic hit, the party stopped. San Francisco has, as we know, experienced challenges in the past. And because of those challenges, we have become more of a resilient city. That is why we took the step before any other cities to declare a state of emergency. The new public health order that we're announcing will require San Franciscans to remain at home in order to ensure public safety. These measures will be disruptive to day-to-day -to -day life. Non-essential stores will close effective midnight tonight, but there is no need to panic. And with a business that thrived on large gatherings, Anthony tries to be optimistic about the then proposed two-week shutdown. You know, I really thought the lockdown was going to be really short, short, short term, you know? I don't know where, where that, that idea came from or that, that time frame came from, um, but it was definitely confusing, terrifying, um, upsetting. You know, there's so many different emotions that, that when that news came about. And so, like the rest of the country, Anthony sheltered in place. You know, the first two weeks of the the shutdown I was like you know what let me just relax for the first time in 10 15 years you know I, I really kind of tricked myself into just taking a break uh, even though we were put on you know put on that break so yeah I ended up watching Harry Potter the entire collection <laughs> from start to finish uh, the first two weeks like many Americans Anthony took up cooking I ended up choosing uh, to cook as a form of expression, so I man, I made maybe 5,000 waffles at the time. I was making a waffle or two a day. I would try different recipes, I would try different flavors. I just really got into it, but honestly, it was just a form of me, of my creative energy, kind of, I needed an outlet for it, so that's what I ended up doing. But no matter the amount of waffles or the times one can watch Harry Potter, Anthony, like many of us, missed the party scene. So much so, he relived the experience at home. It was a form of nostalgia, right? I was, I was watching all our old projects, uh, whether it was Sundays or the nightclub events. We have about, man, like 600 highlight reels from Sunday. So yeah, I ended up watching them again and kind of get inspired of, 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 again, I think the topic for me right now is, is the, the creative outlet, you know, and me watching that stuff inspires me and I get to see uh, all the talent that came through our doors, all the people, all the friends that I've met. I was recording that, I was watching it and as a joke, but at the same time it was just like, it was cool to see what it was like prior to March 2020. When two weeks turned into an indefinite lockdown, Anthony began to reach out to his colleagues in the entertainment industry bartenders, security guards, hostesses, and he wanted to help. I was actually reaching out first, you know, that was like actually the first step of what led into the next step, which was Feed the Industry. You know, Feed the Industry was um, a project that uh, me and the Bay Area Red Bull team started. Uh, you know, shout out to Matt, Jameson, and Amy. Uh, because they actually, first of all, they, they paid for everything, you know, and Feed the Industry was not necessarily just about food, it was actually just feeding them positivity. 
so we're just um, uh, packing the meals for uh, Kaim, who is um, uh, our videographer and actually uh, the founder of City Eats, which is great. And we have Andrew Ho here, who's been my photographer for over 10 years. And so we're able to, you know, take care of a meal for them today and um, just giving back to them as a gesture of thank you. You know, and again, we're here at Hazel's. Um, Red Bull, the Bay Area Red Bull team has uh, endorsed and, and paid for these meals. And Hazel has actually donated a couple meals for us to take care of um, our industry people. So we're feeding industry, guys. We were able to feed maybe like six, seven hundred people in a matter of like three months, you know, and so it was very rewarding because at the same time, I was actually delivering the food as well, you know, all over the Bay Area. I was actually um, meeting up the industry folks, you know, and, and you know what's crazy? Half the people that we, that we were able to touch or connect with, I actually didn't know them. Of course, you know, we want to help our friends and our families and our coworkers and people that we personally know, but to be able to uh, reach people outside of that was probably the best part of that whole project. I got to meet bar owners and bartenders and uh, DJs that I never, you know, um, worked with. So to me, that was, that was obviously the, the most rewarding part of that project. While providing food to workers helped, Anthony knew that he needed to find a way to safely get his business going, even in the middle of this global pandemic. After the summertime, you know, the, the reality is, hey, like, these the credit card stuff, the debt's coming, it's, it's, uh, people are reaching out, trying to get paid, you know, things like that. Now it was a reality set for me where it's like, okay, I can't help all these people, I can't have an outlet, now it's time to see what can I do uh, to make money, right? To, to uh, get back to work, to get back into uh, financial success or uh, financial health, you know? So that was kind of like the first thought of these things. As summer approached, the nation saw some progress with the pandemic. It was an opening Anthony took. In June 2020, we were able to reopen Sundays at that venue, obviously with a lot of red tape, like literally red tape everywhere, um, just to give people the social distance, um, the guidelines of how to kind of reopen. But it was a time where I, I actually had the industry divided as well, because half of them were upset that I was opening, and the other half was actually excited I was opening. I just really kind of wanted to lead the way on how to reopen. You know, it wasn't about uh, putting people um, in danger, you know, or, or trying to make a quick dollar. It was really just, man, we've been in the house for three months, talking to ourselves, <laughs> talking to, you know, whether you had a significant other or not, you know, I, I couldn't, you know, I put myself in, in everyone's shoes of like, you know what, if there's a safe way to come back out, let me try. And Anthony made sure to get approval from officials prior to reopening parties. We dealt with uh, the health department, uh, the entertainment commission. Like we were doing things by the book and by what we learned at the time. You know, there's not a lot of data back then or information, but we did our best. But despite all the planning, the results were not pleasing. Both didn't do well, you know, and it was also a learning process. But at the same time, the people, man, like the, let's say the 30 people that came had the best times of their lives. They were stuck at home, you know, no one to talk to. And, and the, those 30 people that I talked to that day were so grateful for the opportunity uh, to be out with their friends, you know. As one idea flamed out, there came another. Spark Social SF is an outdoor food truck park, beer and sangria garden, and an event space located in the heart of San Francisco's Mission Bay neighborhood. This is where Anthony was able to combine his love for fitness and event planning, all while COVID restrictions allowed activities to function outdoors. Outdoor fitness was deemed essential. All the coaches that I was working with is out of work right now. I want to work out. I think other people want to work out. We can work out outdoors. Spark Social is 100,000 square feet. You can put 15 people in there. I think I'm onto something. We created this thing 
a, a year before the pandemic, which was called Fit Days, and it was pretty much the same thing that I've been doing. I've been I've been putting people together for different reasons, whether it's celebrating birthday, whether it's coming to see your, one of your favorite artists, and now I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put an event together for fitness. You know, we're we're gonna get into a room. A coach is gonna kick our butt, and after that, we might have a white claw or something. You know, um, so that's what happened, man. Like it just all came together. And on July 17th, 2020, I put together the first Social Fit Club Fit Days fitness event at Spark Social. With the support of Spark Social, fitness instructors, and the community, Anthony began another round of business during the pandemic. We did seven people out of 15, and man, I, I was seriously the best day of my life at that point because I was like, man, I'm back in a different, in a different sense. The seven people that came, they had a good time. Same thing, it's like, oh, it's always that connection of, man, like, thank you for putting this together. To me, that's like, that's the best compliment uh, anyone can pay me when I see them during these events. The success at Spark Social brought more people and so another location. So we opened up a space on 2nd and Howard. Uh, it was formerly Gasser Gardens. We called it Social Fit Club. And now we had this cool outdoor space. We had 4,000 square foot of turf. Great location, this is a great opportunity at the time. With a following and a growing reputation of safely bringing people together, Anthony embarked on a new adventure, a former street food park he would come to call District 6. So when we first got here, uh, we wanted to rebrand it and we came up with District 6. District 6 is the location of what district we're in in San Francisco, which is District 6 of San Francisco, uh, which is in the Soma District, which is historically, um, you know, the Filipino district, right? Uh, which, is, which is amazing. So that's where the name came from. And the whole idea of it is it's created by local guys and we're going to work with the local guys as well. Anthony opened District 6 based upon careful consideration of the wants and needs of the community. We have a barber shop here, we have food here, uh, we have live music here, we have a beer and wine garden here. There's something for kids, there's something for adults, there's something for in between, there's something for couples, there's some things for singles. But that was the whole idea too, is also to be part of the community, you know, to, to not just do for-profit events, let's work with nonprofit, let's work with the surrounding uh, nonprofit and community leaders here in San Francisco. And we've been able to do that, you know, we've had London Breed here, we've had the District 6 Supervisor, Matt Haney here. Uh, we've worked with uh, people like Rudy from United Players. We're working with West Bay Community Center. Like, the list is endless, you know. Um, you know, we were able to work with Guap Dad and, and Lumpia Company, and we're able to bring different communities together, whether it's the Filipino community, whether it's the uh, African American community, uh, whether it's the Pride community. That's the whole point of District 6. That's the whole point of this adult Disneyland uh, tagline. It's because the place is for everybody. One of Anthony's first big events at District 6 was in November 2020. It was a free family workshop in creating Filipino Christmas colorful star lanterns called paroles. It's just really cool to see the community come together. We have over 100 families coming today. So we, you could say, sold out the event. But I don't know, it's just great to see, you know, um, Thanksgiving's coming, Christmas is coming, and uh, a lot of the families is the only opportunity for them to gather safely. And it's just, you know, it was great to see. Seeing his new business model in motion, Anthony felt it was time to evolve and close the door on his past career of nightlife events. For me to progress and take those steps forward, I need to leave what I used to do behind and take a few steps forward. And this is what I really want to do. I really want to do community events. I really want to do heritage events. I really want to include family. With a brand new venue and clientele, event planner Anthony Schlender of Anthony Presents was back in business by 2021. And even though he mentioned how his party planning days may be over, he decided to merge the concept of arguably the most popular day party in the Bay Area, Sundays, with his new business, District 6. We turned Sunday's day party into Sunday's brunch and marketplace. And so with the brunch aspect, it was bringing people together through food. The marketplace was also an idea to help local businesses and local entrepreneurs with products and service. 
have a place to sell their products and service, right? So we provided another platform for aspiring entrepreneurs or people with storefronts that couldn't even open up anymore, right? So that was a whole, again, evolution. With families, friends, foodies, and everyone in between visiting District 6, Anthony knew he had to do something for the music lovers. Using the network of beloved artists he developed through the years, Anthony brought the party back to the city. You know, music is very powerful. Music does heal, and especially when you get to see your, your, one of your favorite artists, uh, whether it's Amaya uh, that was here, Bow Wow was here, you know, and Bow Wow's been such a great host in the Bay Area. Hosts like John B was here. One of our biggest shows was with Bryson Tiller. You know, he, he brought him out. It, it, it was such a, a great show. We had Guaple uh, come by. So there's been a mixture of different type of talent that's been coming, and we actually have a ton more coming. And just like Michael Jordan and Jay-Z, Anthony came back from retirement and is not only hosting parties again, but adding a more inclusive experience through food and services. I was done with nightlife specifically at the time because I needed to do this. I needed to now step into my next challenge, which was 20,000 square feet of creative space. While business is back, Anthony is reminded that it was never about the money, but the experience that keeps him going. And now with this space and renewed motivation, Anthony is trying to lift more people up along the way. I've always wanted to do more community work. Again, just the day-to-day -day of doing parties and nightclubs, it's hard to do both at the same time, is what I'm saying. So the opportunity being here at District 6, it opened up a lot of doors for me because then I was able to work with not just nonprofit and community works, but small businesses, entrepreneurs, where I couldn't do that at the nightclubs, right? So to me, that was probably the most rewarding opportunity for me because we have been able to host uh, a ton of events that's helped the community and people. It's in our mission statement that if you are working with me, for me, next to me, whatever it is, we need to implement the community at least once a month, donate our space and volunteer our time. Looking back to the March 2020 shelter in place order of cooking endless amounts of waffles to reminiscing the past in his living room, to running and operating an outdoor venue dedicated to the community, Anthony says he's here to stay. The future of Anthony Presents is, is, is to continue to change the game, right? And that's always been the, the moniker. And if we're here at this space, you know, we're gonna change this space. We're, we're, we're gonna make it better. That's how I deal with all the projects, you know, and I am dabbling in returning to nightlife because I feel like they need me, you know? I need them, same thing, you know? So expressing my creative energy through events has, has been what I've been doing for 20 years now. And, um, the future looks bright, you know? I want to open up more spaces, you know, I want to get into more community, I, I want to make more impact, I want to help the city of San Francisco, whether it's, you know, attract more tourism, have, have dope events, uh, work with other entrepreneurs, other small businesses, um, and just continue to support the community here in, in, in San Francisco.